So if you've uh, blown a fuse in your meter or the battery's dead, you're gonna have to take it apart to correct that issue. To start with, I'll show you a quick way to test if you've actually blown a fuse in your meter. You're gonna go ahead and switch the meter to measure resistance. And with the red lead plugged in here, you can measure continuity through each port. This port, the 400 milliamp fused current measuring port, will show 1K ohm, because there's a 1K fusible resistor in there, that's as low as it'll go. That's what a good fuse looks like. A 10 amp will show no resistance through it. So we have good continuity. So both of these fuses are actually good, but let's go ahead and take it apart anyways. Go ahead and turn it off, pull, pull the leads out, pop the case off. If you notice on the back, you've got two plastic slotted screws here. This is the battery compartment. You're gonna have to loosen these. They're each a quarter turn. And then you can lift it straight off. <clears throat> so that's the battery compartment. If you notice, now you have two more screws exposed. There's three screws that hold the back cover in. They intentionally hide these two to make sure you don't take it apart without first popping the battery out. So now you can go ahead and take these screws out. So this cover is going to come apart a little easy on the back side and it's going to catch and hang up on the front. If you were to pry straight up it won't come off, you have to keep rolling it because there's two clips here that need to be rolled forward to uncatch from the lip. So, as you notice here, you've got two fuses. This is the 10 amp fuse, and this is the 400 milliamp fuse. And you can see that uh, the circuit is basically completed through here, across there, and out there. This circuit comes in through here, up and across, and comes out there. If you had to replace one of these, you could just pop it out or use a fuse puller and we stock these in the inventory and you just replace it in kind. If you're unsure as to what kind of fuse goes in there, if you flip it over, you'll notice that the specifications are right here. With the, the battery specifications as well. So, something you wanna take note on before you put it back together is, this is just a basic hex plastic receiver. It's entirely possible to get this in the wrong orientation and it'll mate back up. If you were to do that, you'd be left with uh, the meter being in the wrong selection in reference to the legend on the front. So always make sure that plastic pointer is lined up with the line that says off and that this is in the off position as well. So. When this goes back together, it's always easiest to put the rubber buttons in the cover first and make sure they're sticking all the way through and hold it like this and mate them up that way. It should click just like that. Now you can go ahead and put a new battery in if it needs it and put the old battery back in. You want to make sure these are good and tight because you have to compress the rubber all-weather strip there. There it is. 